So now that we've got our basics wrapped around the idea of Excel, the interface, the workbook, saving, opening documents, let's start to create something. I want to discuss entering data into an Excel workbook and more specifically into an Excel worksheet. Now open in front of you, I've got that file that I've been messing around with, this monthly budget uh, 01 document. And I've got my two little worksheets there. I'm going to make sure that sheet number one is active just by giving that a click. There I am. And I'm going to start to enter some data into here. And this is going to be the document that you're going to use throughout the rest of this course called Monthly Budget 01. So my first step, I want to put a nice title at the top of this worksheet, Monthly Budget. So I'm going to make sure that I'm up there instead of A1, just clicking the cell A1, and I'm going to type something in, my title, Monthly Budget. So I'll just type in monthly budget, making sure I spell that right. I'm going to hit my enter key, and I've now typed a value into cell A1. Simple. Now I do want to point out that it looks like that monthly budget, it's not just an A1, but it looks like it's going over into B1. I want to assure you that this value is only inside of A1. It is not inside of the B1 cell. And just to demonstrate, if I click back into cell A1, you can see up inside my formula bar that I've got monthly budget. If I want to edit it, like I misspelled it or I want to change the title, this would be one place that I can go, just click into there and make my edits. If I click into cell B1, where it looks like budget is starting to creep in, you'll see my formula bar is empty. So it's not in there. We are going to fix it to, so it looks a little more presentable later on when we get into a later discussion on formatting. But for now, it's in, inside of A1. I'm now going to click down inside of cell A4. And this is where I want to start building this spreadsheet that's going to outline my monthly budget, my bills, the various time frames for my bills, the different months, and so on. So right here inside of A4, I'm going to create a column of different bills. So the first thing I like to do here is put a header. We'll just call this bills. I'm going to hit my enter key, and I'm going to put a few bills inside of here. And I'm just going to make some stuff up. If you want to use your own values, that's totally fine. Or you can use the exercises that come along with these lectures, whatever you like to do. But I'm going to make up my own here. So I'll say I've got rent. I've got, oh, let's see, I've got my phone. I've got credit card payments. Got to get rid of those things. I've got, ooh, I've, I've, you got to have food. I got, I'm going to say food. Uh, let's see, rent, phone, credit cards, food, uh, and I've got gas. My car, my car's got gas. And now eventually I'm going to put some totals in here because uh, I'm going to have some months inside of various columns and I want to do some column totals. So I am going to put another one in here. I'll say I've got total. All right, hit my enter key there. Every time I get done typing something in, I'm going to use one of a couple of different keystrokes on my computer. I'll hit my enter key to typically drop me down a line. Or if I want to move to the right, for example, if I jump up here into column B, row 4, cell B4, I want to put some column headers here for different months. So I'm going to start out with January. I'll just abbreviate there. There's Jan. I'm going to hit my tab key. Tab will take you to the right. So now I'll say January, I got February, I got March, and I can continue going, hitting my tab key to move me to the right. Tab. Now, I'm not going to continue doing months here. We're going to get the idea. I'm only going to do three months worth of data. But I am going to have a column here for totals. Because I want to be able to do a column of some row totals. How much did I spend for rent over the three months versus phone versus credit cards and so on. So I'll drop in another column there called total. So now we've entered some data. It's really simple. It's broken up in columns and rows. You're clicking into the cells. You're typing in your values. You're hitting your enter key. You can use your tab key as well to move to the right. You could use your mouse just to click areas, but just entering data into an Excel document. Now what we're building here is a simple, very common document or layout of data called a spreadsheet. It's got row headers, it's got column headers. Now eventually, in the next lecture, 
we're going to take a look at putting data in the cross sections. For example, how much did I spend on rent for January? How much did I spend on food in February? And so on. But we've got a simple document entering data. So try this out yourself. Open up a blank document, open up that document you saved earlier, the monthly budget, and start to build out your monthly budget. You could copy what I have or come up with your own. That'd be even better. Practice entering some data into an Excel worksheet.